Today, I was craving an adventure, a forest adventure, unsurprisingly, so I decided to make some Polaroid paintings. Instant photos are a wonderful way to organically capture a moment in time, and creating my own world through these photos makes them seem more real. As I've said in a previous painted Polaroid video, this is my way of reusing film from photos that didn't come out the first time. It's such an easy thing to do, with such magical results. I've been feeling a lack of motivation, and I think that's been brought on by my surroundings. Normally, the art I create is somewhat related to what's around me, but I haven't been feeling the icy subject matter of winter recently. Today I was craving a lush green forest, which seems unattainable in the winter time, but it isn't. Although winter brings with it barren trees and dormancy, most moss stays around all year, keeping the forest green and alive. So that's what I wanted to focus on today mossy trees and some mushrooms, the things that bring life into the forest at this time. Recently, whenever the sun starts to come out, I find myself daydreaming of spring. I wanted to hold off on painting any flowers to fully appreciate this moment in time, but I couldn't resist adding just a few flowers to this painting. enjoyed making a tree the focal point of this piece. The bark on trees is so complex and full of interesting things, including a ton of living things that can be so easily missed. I feel like all of my paintings start the same way, with the same colors, and I should consider branching out and using a different palette. 
but there's something so unbelievably comforting about these warmer green hues. I feel so welcome. It was really nice to sit and paint for the entire day. I'm normally doing a series of different tasks throughout the day, but I got to tune out the rest of the world and just paint my little mushrooms and mossy rocks, and it was perfect. I find that when I get everything set up and I start mixing colors and getting into a groove, I just want to keep going. The planning process has never been for me. Lately, you may have seen me lightly sketch out my paintings but that's all the planning I like to do. I am so much more inspired and motivated when I'm actually working. And that's why it's so easy for me to paint three Polaroids at a time, like I've done in the past, because the longer I work on them, the more inspired I get to make more. especially, I've begun to appreciate mushrooms so much more. They are so unique with different shapes and colors. They are so similar to flowers. And it's so fun to try and find them when you're walking through the forest. It was a nice challenge to have a hazy, blurred out background for this painting. I love details and it was weird for me to essentially disregard whatever is happening behind these mushrooms, but I tried to envision it as if I were kneeling down in the forest, examining these mushrooms myself, purely focused on the little friends in front of me. This helped me to see this painting as more of a photograph, which is good because I guess this technically is a photograph now. My eye for photography and my eye for painting are very different, and painting like this is helping me to bring them together so my skills and knowledge can be more interchangeable. one Polaroid to show the trail I'd be walking on. Whenever I go hiking or walking in any forest, I love to look back and see what the trail really looks like. Trees acting as a canopy over a well-loved trail full of stories of who came before me. That's always why it takes so long to do any sort of hike. 
Through the entire journey, I'm amazed at where I am. The final scenic point is always incredible, but the path that got you there is always incredible too. That's where you find little beauties like moss and mushrooms. a strong desire to wander through a crooked, mossy forest, probably somewhere in Ireland. I imagine it would be quiet and peaceful, but also full of magic and whimsy. I just love crooked trees. I grew up with shows and stories that included wise old tree folk, and I just feel like they were always this grand tree with windy branches. So I guess I just think that all crooked trees are definitely wise old wizard trees who are also the guardians of the forest, right? I feel like that fits them. you enjoyed going on this little journey with me and I encourage you to take a closer look at everything. Sometimes you'll find wonderful creatures and magical stories and other times you may find a new way to use something like an old photograph. I hope you have a wonderful day today and all of the days to come.